my dear student i welcome you all from my class today i am going to take an english second paper class for the students of class 9 and 10 i am mohammad shahinul islam senior teacher english horimon government high school safai nawabganj my dear students i will talk about an item of english second paper that is stack question by the end of the lessons by the end of the lesson you will be able to know what the stack question is tell five rule five rules of stack question and do some exercise of stack question okay tag question so this is the definition of tag question which i have discussed in my first part of this class so this tag question is the third part of my discussion about tag question i have already uploaded two video class on tag questions and today this is the third part of my class on tag question so this is all about tag question and auxiliary verb which is also needed to form tag question so i have given this slides for refreshing your memory modal verb is also necessary modal verbs Uh, are also necessary to form tag question okay rule 1 rule 11 imperative sentence so i will explain this rules imperative sentence second person subject that is you we know that persons are of three kinds first person second person and third person so rule 11 is for the second person subject that is you so imperative sentence begins with verb let us see the example put on mask will you do not make a noise in the class will you it is very easy if you see any imperative sentence beginning with verb you just use a model like will can you will will you can you could you you can also make it negative won't you can't you this is also possible but it is very it will be easier for you if you use will you will you can be added as tag question to the statement of to the statement like put on mask or do not make a noise in the class so both affirmative imperative sentence or negative and both affirmative imperative sentence and negative imperative sentence can be possible with will you so will you tag question can be added to both the affirmative imperative sentence and negative imperative sentence so i think this rule 11 is clear now rule 12 imperative sentence beginning with let us let us visit the zoo so if you see let us or let's in the contracted form just use shall we as the tag question this is very easy rule and this rule is also common for your exam purpose okay rule number 13 imperative sentence of first or third person subject 
so i have already said that persons are of three kinds first person second person third person so imperative sentence of second person begin with verb here second person remains absent remain remains hidden from the sentence but if you but in the case of first or third person subject imperative sentence begins with let after let there will be the subject in the objective case like let him let me let them in this way here you just use will you so if let him feed the cow will you let them dance will you just will you so i have discussed three rules of imperative sentence so first rule is the second person subject which remains hidden from the sentence here you just use will you as the tag question and rule 12 i have discussed the imperative sentence beginning with let us so if you see let us just use shall we as the tag question and imperative sentence of first or third person subject here you can use like the rule number 11 will you will you as the tag question i think if you carefully watch this video you can easily understand the tag question of imperative sentences now rule number 14 exclamatory sentence we know that sentences are of five kinds assertive sentence interrogative sentence imperative sentence optative sentence and exclamatory sentence so i have discussed the rules of assertive sentence then imperative sentence then exclamatory sentence so exclamatory sentences begins with generally wh word like how or what so how nice the bird it is how nice the bird how nice the bird how nice the bird is isn't it so here you will use the b verb and after b verb you you should look at the sentence whether it is affirmative or negative if the sentence is affirmative tag will be negative and if the sentence is negative tag will be affirmative so how nice the word is this is an example of affirmative exclamatory sentence so obviously tag will be negative how fast the horses run second example here how fast the horses run here the sentence is not a negative one how fast the horses run this is an example of affirmative exclamatory sentence so tech will obviously be tech will certainly be negative so how fast the horses run this is an example of i this is an example of present indefinite tense so there is no helping verb here so we should use do as the helping verb so do then not in the contacted form don't they they represent the plural subject okay now rule number 15 d plus adjective plus plural noun so d plus adjective equal to plural noun so if you see any article like any art any if you see any adjective 
with d before it you will understand that this is a plural noun like look at the example the rich help the poor so the rich d is the article and rich is the adjective so d plus adjective has become a plural subject the rich help the poor so don't they as the tag question second one the unfit should be fit so unfit is an example of adjective the unfit should be fit so here we get the uh, model verb should and the statement is affirmative so tag must be negative the unfit should be fit should not they okay i think the point is clear so today i have discussed five rules beginning from 11 to 15. now my dear student look at the image so this is a picture of a home so now you can easily guess that i am going to give you a home task you can look upon this activity as homework or as practice at home add the questions to the following statements number one be attentive in the class number two let us study well at home number three let his my dear students okay number two let us study well at home number three let him finish the work number four what a big garden it is and number five the wise act wisely okay my dear students no more today stay safe maintain rules of health don't go out without wearing mask so thank you very much Thank you.